Oh, you're so good. <laughs> Baby, you're so good. You picked that up so fast. Can we do it again? <laughs> Can we do it again? <laughs> I thought I heard Morgan's voice. Should you be out of bed? <laughs> you met him now, yes? You can see how badly he feels. My baby would never hurt me again. It's not your baby. Okay, our baby. The people in this house are not your family. You said Morgan did those things because it was confused, but maybe Morgan's the only one seeing things clearly here. Morgan, emotionally, is still very much a little boy. He had a tantrum. Little boys have tantrums. That's all. He's becoming attached here. I don't think you realize the significance of that. How could you do it to no, it is not a child. You see Morgan how you want to see it. Morgan sees you how you are. Hello, Morgan. Hello, Dr. Shapiro. Hello, Morgan. Hello, Dr. Shapiro. But do you think they treat you like a friend? Do you? I mean, you think it's normal uh, for friends to lock each other in cages? It's not always in a cage. No? Before the incident, I was free to come and go as I pleased. I could go outside. I bet. Uh, you could go into town, you could meet new people, right? No. I was always restricted to the grounds of the farm. How are we doing today? How do you think? I think we are almost done with this now. What they're doing, it's not right. No. No, it's not right. You shouldn't have even been in a room that day, Kathy. This is your fuck up. Oh, Amy, that is total bullshit. We've all broken protocol at some point, especially you. If this fucking asshole wouldn't have stuck her face on a fork, would any of this even be happening? Are you serious? Yeah, I am. You are unbelievable. 